and he is probably going to start barking right now because the ice cream truck is passing by and he doesn't like the ice cream man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like the ice cream man? He's got good stuff. What's your deal? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Des and I make beauty and lifestyle videos on this channel. Today's video is going to be super different. Like, I've never done anything like this on my channel before. I'm in the same room that I usually film in, but I am like flipped around. So I'm just on like a blank wall that is in this room. So sorry that it's like so boring right here, but yeah, I don't have like any pretty scenery behind me today or anything. But today's video I'm super excited about, and I've been wanting to film a video like this for I don't even know how long now, but I decided that today would be a good day. I'm sorry if it's dark in here today. I couldn't turn the light on because the power's been out for like three hours now. I don't know what's going on. They're outside working on it, but, but yeah, today's video is going to be all about my dogs. I'm super excited because I've never introduced my dogs on my channel like officially. So you guys don't know too much about them. I have three dogs and I'm just going to introduce them one at a time. And we're going to start out by obviously introducing my dogs. And then I have some dog hacks that I would like to share with you guys. Uh, Tommy and I have had dogs for a long time now and so we have learned along the way some things that work for us as far as training and just like little hacks that go along with dogs. So I'm going to go grab my oldest dog. We will start with my oldest dog to my youngest dog and I will be right back. Okay, so obviously I had to switch some things around to fit him in the frame. Uh, I had to back the camera up. But this is Jordy, he is three years old. He is a Great Pyrenees and Anatolian Shepherd and Akbash mix. So if you know anything about Great Pyrenees or um, like Anatolian Shepherds, they are bred to uh, guard livestock. And obviously Jordy doesn't live on a farm, <laughs> but he is our house dog. He was mine and Tommy's very first dog. I will insert in a picture of Jordy when he was a puppy because he was the cutest puppy ever. But yeah, this is our big guy, our oldest dog. But yeah, he is just the sweetest guy. He totally goes with the flow, like in every situation, he is just like a really go with the flow type of dog. Uh, one thing I will say about him is that he likes to bark a lot, which if you have a Pyrenees and you know, uh, Pyrenees love to bark. That's like their favorite thing ever. Uh, <laughs> He loves treats, obviously, and he just, I don't know, he's such a family dog. He just, he loves all of us more than life itself. He would protect us if anything were to go wrong. You know, he's our first, he's our first guy. He makes sure that we are all protected and that we are all taken care of, and that is his number one job in life, and I just, I love him for it. He's, um, he's an awesome, awesome dog, and we got him when we were living up in Wisconsin, and he has just been such a good addition to our family. He makes sure that, like, nobody's getting us, even the ice cream man, uh, and he just, he just loves us with all of his might. He loves us so much. So, yeah, that is Jordy. He's named after Jordy Nelson. We are Packers fans, uh, and we love him so much, though. So he's, he is our big, fluffy uh, everybody loves him. Oh, by the way, I think he's like 95 pounds, just so you guys can get like a, you know, rough estimate of how much he weighs. Uh, he's about 95 pounds, because I know he looks huge. Some people are kind of surprised that he only weighs 95 pounds. But he is big and fluffy and stuff, but he has like a slender body type, and he's pretty athletic. So, yeah, that's Jordy. Alright guys, this right here is Abby. She is two years old. She was born in December, and she just turned two years, and she is a Irish Setter Poodle Mix. So she looks a lot like a Golden Doodle if you look at her in the face. She looks very similar to a Golden Doodle. And we went to go, when we went to go get her, I was originally wanting a Golden Doodle. The breeders that we went to, they had Golden Doodles at the time for sale. And I saw these, these dogs, these Irish Setter Poodle Mixes, and I was like, those dogs are gorgeous. And so we got her and she is just a sweetheart too. Yeah, she is about 45, 50 pounds. So she's like a medium sized dog. She's not too big, not too small. Abby is named after, if any of you guys know the singer Noah Gunderson, Tommy and I are huge fans of Noah Gunderson. 
and his sister's name is Abby Gunderson, and we are also huge fans of Abby Gunderson. I mentioned Noah because Noah, you know, he's more known, I guess, mainstream-wise. Abby's not as known. And when we were thinking about names, we were thinking of, like, we were trying to go off of, like, Packer players as well. And there used to be a player on the Packers with the last name Aberderis. Aberderis, I think that's how you say it. Uh, and we were going to name her, you know... Abby after him, but then we were like, well, Abby Gunderson, like, she's one of our favorite artists right now, and, you know, we really like Noah Gunderson, and so that is kind of where we got Abby, like, she's not specifically named after anybody in general, we really like the name Abby, and she just fits her name so well. This little girl, she likes to get into trouble, is that, like, she's the sweetest little thing, obviously, like, she's, she loves to cuddle and she loves to be by us, but she loves to get in trouble, she just searches for trouble. She, today, I walked out in the backyard to check on my puppies before I left the house for a little while, and she was in our neighbor's yard. She was just hanging out in their backyard with their dog, and so she eventually got out of the backyard and stuff, but she's just always looking for things to do. She, she likes to still sew your diapers, and she likes to, she just likes to just get into trouble. So she likes to jump into our puppy's uh, kennel and steal his food. And yeah, she's just, she just likes to get into trouble, like I said. But this is Abby, and she's our, she's our only little girl that we've got right now. She's just surrounded, me and her are just surrounded by all the guys. So, yeah. Alright guys, last but not least is our newest puppy. We just got him two weeks ago, I think. His name is Petty, and uh, he is a St. Bernard. St. Bernard... English Mastiff Pitbull Mix, I think. I think I got that right. Mostly he is English Mastiff, but he has some St. Bernard in him and he has some Pitbull as well. Um, let me show his face because you can definitely tell kind of what he is by his face. So this is Petty. He is, I think he's like 12 weeks now, 11 weeks. I think he's 11 weeks tomorrow. But uh, he is a puppy, obviously. And if you've, if you've ever had a puppy, you know that they are hyper and they're crazy and they just love to get into trouble and love to be everywhere and love to learn new things, see new things. So he is going to be a big boy. When we bought him, he was 21, 25 pounds and he was 10 weeks. So he's going to be big. I don't know if you guys can see his paws. They're huge. Sorry, did I get you? His paws are huge. And, uh, so he'll probably be bigger than Jordy. And his name, Petty, comes from, um, Tommy is a huge, huge fan of Tom Petty. And if you haven't been living under a rock, um, this last year Tom Petty actually passed away. And Tommy actually got to see him perform live in, uh, Dallas, I think, or Austin, one of, in Texas somewhere. Uh, for his birthday back in May and so he just really really like he grew up on Tom Petty he really loved Tom Petty and so um, we went ahead and, and named him our new baby we named him Petty after Tom Petty and it went it fit like the Jordy Abby Petty got the Y ending and stuff so and he is just he is his personality hasn't really shown too much but I think Right now he's pretty hyper, but usually he's pretty chill. Like, he doesn't really do much all day. He just sleeps out with the dogs. He loves to cuddle. He loves to give kisses. And yeah, that is petty. All right, guys, so Sawyer is going to join us for the end of this video. Uh, he just woke up from his nap, and I just had to finish up this last little bit of the video, which was the dog hacks that we've learned, like, over the years. Like I said, we've had dogs for many years now, and so I wanted to share with you like some of the things that we've just learned over the years. The first thing that we learned with Jordy specifically, we learned that it is super useful to have these types of bowls. Um, his is super dirty right now because we haven't cleaned it in a while, but these bowls um, will slow down your dog from eating too fast. Jordy used to eat so fast, like when we first got him and whenever he was still, you know, like a teenager or whatever. He would eat so fast, he would just, uh, he would just want to eat and eat and eat and eat. <laughs> Should we start your own YouTube channel? Um, but yeah, those slow feeder... 
If you have a dog that loves to eat fast, get one of those bowls. You will not regret it. With Jordy, he actually, we got that bowl when he was still a little puppy and he's had it ever since. But yeah, those bowls are awesome. And I'm sorry that Sawyer wants to talk when I'm talking. He's <laughs> learning to do things as we do them. The second thing I wanted to mention, and I'm just gonna show them real quick because Sawyer's gonna want them, but these are called Kongs. This is a huge Kong. And this one is actually, it sits down on the ground and it kind of like rocks around and there's food inside of it. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's food inside of it. And it's perfect for puppies, especially like, again, if you have a fast eater, these things will help a lot with that. You can just fill up their food in here and then they'll, they have to knock it over in order to get the food out of the little hole. So these things are perfect, like I said, for puppies or for big dogs who eat fast. Now this is a popular like looking Kong. This was Abby's whenever we first got her and now Petty is using it. Uh, these things, you can stuff them with peanut butter, with um, dog treats, with dog food, with chicken broth. You can fill these things up with literally anything that is safe for dogs to eat. It just kind of gives them something to play with, something to like look forward to. If you're gonna be gone from the house for a long time, you work long hours, buying your dog one of these and, and freezing it at night and then giving it to them during the day whenever you leave is like, it will be their favorite thing, I promise. You can also, like these things are kind of pricey. Uh, if you have multiple dogs and you don't wanna buy like three Kongs or whatever. Uh, you could always do the same thing with the tennis ball. Just get a tennis ball and then like cut a little hole in the tennis ball where they have to like kind of squeeze it in order to get it out. Next thing I wanted to talk about was head halters. And these are what ours look like. They are, so basically they look like this. They go, this part goes on the dog's nose and then the clips clip around the dog's neck. So basically all it does is it's almost like, it reminds me of like a horse halter, how it goes around their nose and they can't pull you too hard. Uh, if you have a dog that pulls, the head halters will work perfect. So yeah, um, those are head halters. The last thing that I have that I wanted to share with you is poop bags. Buy poop bags, buy lots of poop bags. Nobody gets on people's nerves more than people who take their dogs for a walk, their dog poops and then they don't pick up their dog's poop. Pick up your dog's poop. Like, if I have any advice for you, when you get a new puppy, pick up their poop when you're on a walk. Please pick up their poop. It is so important. Um, you don't want, like, like obviously you don't want to be walking down the road and step in dog poop. Like, it's so annoying. So just pick up your dog's poop. Don't forget your poop bags when you leave with your dogs. And, uh, and everybody will be happy. The next thing that I wanted to share or talk about was a thunder vest. I could not find our thunder vest. I don't know what Tommy did with it. If you have never heard of a thunder vest, they are just these vests that kind of, it's kind of like a harness almost, but it's like a whole, almost like a sweater kind of. And then it like, um, it has weights in it though, so that like when your dog is worried or scared or um, whatever, they miss you, just any kind of emotional type of state that they may be in where they need to be helped, uh, they you can put the thunder vests on them and it just helps them to be calmed down. When Abby was a puppy, she had super like high separation anxiety. And so we bought her one of those and uh, she had it on while we were at work. She had it on when we would be in the car because we were traveling long distances with our dogs in the car. And she did really good with the thunder vest. Uh, the next thing I wanted to share with you is just kind of like advice. These are still hacks, but more advice than like products that I wanted to show you. The first thing is that if you get a new puppy, make sure that you are socializing them. Make sure you're taking them out to meet other dogs, to meet other people. If you're going to have your dog on a farm or if you're going to have them around farm animals at some point, make sure you introduce them to things like that when they're still puppies. Because as they get older, they're going to obviously, you know, shy away from those types of things and they're going to be super timid about it. And it's just really important that you socialize your dog because if not, that is when you get the issues of, you know, dog aggression. Aggression with other dogs, aggression with people, aggression with other animals. Your dog will be a better dog if you socialize them. The next thing I wanted to talk about is make sure that you're buying good dog food. Make sure you're not just going to Walmart and grabbing whatever food is on the shelf. We buy anything that doesn't have chicken or chicken meal in it just because uh, Jordy's allergic to chicken. He's allergic to grain. Um, so we have to obviously buy pretty expensive food. I feel like we probably wouldn't have ended up buying super expensive food had it not been for all of Jordy's allergies. Uh, Jordy, like I said, he's just allergic to everything and it's, it's kind of frustrating, but 
in the long run, it's made us learn that, that when our dogs are eating good food, they don't need to be fed as much or as often, and they are, uh, they just look healthier, like they look stealthy and like, you know, they look like healthy dogs, I guess. So yeah, just make sure you're getting good dog food. Um, if you guys would like good dog food recommendations, please let me know in the comments, and I will be happy to comment back. Like I said, good dog food is so important, um, just as important as socialization really because you know your dog's health depends on what you're feeding them obviously, just like humans. Next I wanted to talk about the hot and the cold weather. We've lived in, in extreme hot, we've lived in extreme cold. So when it comes to the cold, um, one thing that I can say is make sure that you are checking your dog's paws. If you're taking them out on walks and there's ice or there's snow or it's just really cold on the ground, make sure you're checking their Paws because it is so important their paws will get frozen they'll get burned from um, how cold it is on the ground uh, and you can use Vaseline on your dog's feet to prevent them from like shaping or from getting burnt and you can also put or you can also buy dog shoes uh, we used to have some we got rid of them because we moved to Arizona you can also use dog, food, dog shoes for the hot weather as well but uh, it's kind of if, if the ground is hot, just don't take your dog on a walk. Like, it's, it's that simple, in my opinion. Which leads me to hot weather. Um, for hot weather, like I said, if the ground's hot, just avoid taking your dogs on a walk. If, in the summer, I usually am wearing flip-flops, so if I'm outside, I will sit, slip my foot out of my flip-flop, I will touch my, ground, my foot to the ground, and if the ground is too hot for me to touch, then I will not take my dogs for a walk. There's no way. I walk my dogs either really early in the mornings in the summer or really late at night in the summer. It gets really hot here, so we have to figure out like when to um, walk them and stuff. But yeah, um, just make sure that you're not burning your dog's feet. Also for hot weather, what we usually do is we'll give our dogs ice cubes. Sometimes we will give our dogs like um, ice cubes with bones or like treats in the middle of the ice cube so they have something to work at and it keeps them really nice and cool also another thing that we do in the summer we have a big huge patio on our back in our backyard um and that's all covered so what we do is we leave a big bucket of water out there year round and we also will put a like kid swimming pool full of water for the dogs to swim in whenever it's summer or if they just get hot they'll go in there and they'll kind of hang out and um uh, cool off and yeah our dogs are most of the time inside but when they are outside then we have those things for them out there and uh, they I think they definitely appreciate it because there are days where like you know we're busy inside so the dogs just get left outside all day and it's good to just have your backyard ready for those things the last thing that I wanted to mention and it's probably the most important thing is just kind of talking about training with you guys a little bit socialization is number one when you have a puppy you really don't need to train your puppy just because it's hard to train a puppy. Um, you can obviously potty train them. And uh, if you guys would like tips on potty training puppies, let me know because that's like a whole video in itself. But uh, make sure that you get your dog enrolled in some kind of training program as they get older though. Um, it's, it's really important that they are learning doggy manners and that they are getting that socialization. Like even if you're going to training strictly for the socialization, it's worth it. Um, if you have a Petco, PetSmart near you, or if you have like somebody local that does the training for you there, definitely sign up and uh, keep your dog in it as long as, as they'll let you because it's really important. Um, our dogs have both, well, our puppy won't get as much training as our bigger dogs because we live in a really small town now where there isn't any dog trainers, but Jordy and Abby both had hundreds of dollars worth of training. Tommy actually worked at Petco whenever we lived in Wisconsin, and so we kind of got training for free, but uh, we couldn't afford hundreds of dollars of training, but they did end up getting it, and we've learned a lot of tips on how to like train them. So I don't think that we'll ever have to really actually go back to training. We obviously make sure that our puppy is getting socialized, but uh, yeah, that is my biggest um, thing on that. Like I said, guys, if you would like a video, like more videos on dogs, I could totally do a video on potty training. I could do a video on training your dogs, like how to train. But yeah, um, also like another thing that I could do is how to train your dogs to be around your babies. Cause that was a big one for us. But 
yeah guys for now I'm gonna stop because I feel like I've covered a lot of information in this video and I don't want to just like go all crazy on you guys and teach you how to raise your dogs but um, yeah that is all I have for today sorry if Sawyer was a distraction he's kind of he's in a mood today he's in a definite mood yeah it's not that one either but anyways guys thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye